what's up guys today i'll be showing you how you can install and set up your elgato 4k x with your playstation 5 and obs studio so let's dive in the very first thing you want to do is head on to your playstation and then go to settings then go to system and then hdmi now you want to disable hdcp because for some reason the capture card cannot capture video signals which are protected by hdcp so you want to disable this first before you start using your capture card next is you want to set up your capture card so this is the capture card itself for the hdmi in port this will be from your console for the usb 3.2 port this will be from your pc and then finally the hdmi out port this will be from your tv or monitor now with the Elgato 4K X, you will get the HDMI 2.1 cable and the USB 3.2 cable. So you will need another HDMI 2.1 cable for your HDMI output. Once you got your capture card set up, you'll want to go to Elgato's website. So go to elgato.com. Go to downloads. Select your product. Select capture and then 4k x hit download so i already got the 4k capture utility installed on my pc it's pretty straightforward just follow the installation process and you'll get a desktop icon like this here so you want to double click and open this it says no signal and the reason is i have not switched on my console yet but first we need to get this configured so go to settings go to general and you want to have these settings you can also check for updates for your software version after that go to device you can do the same thing with your firmware version if there is a new update for firmware it will say somewhere over here for the update for audio input you want to have hdmi audio and the rest of the settings will be set by default for picture it's basically straightforward Recording, this is where your save recordings will be saved at. Your video encoder will be your GPU, you want to select your GPU. And your format, you want to set it up to 4K. And the bitrate is entirely up to you, but I would suggest keeping it somewhere in the middle. And the rest of the settings is, is by default. And finally is, is your mic. So you can select your mic and once you're done, hit apply, click OK and you're done. So now I will switch on my console and we'll carry on from there. So I've switched on the console and it's now been displayed on the 4K capture utility. Uh, it does feel smooth with low latency. You can barely feel the lag. And if you want to record, just go down to this red button here. Click this red button. Once it starts blinking, that means it's recording now. And if you finish recording, just click it again. Your recorded file will be in library and this is where all your recorded footage will be kept and that's it however i do prefer the obs studio over the 4k capture utility the reason is that the obs studio gives you more customization options it gives you more settings to tweak around with so i'll show you how you can set up your obs studios with the elgato 4k x to install obs studios you want to go to your browser and type in obs project and you can select which version of the obs studio you would like to install i'm using windows so i'll select windows so again i've already got this installed on my pc so once you've got it installed it's pretty much straightforward you will have a desktop icon just like this and you want to go and open this up Once you got your OBS open, you want to go to settings, you want to go to video, and you want to select your base resolution as 4K. Same with your output resolution. Now for integer values, you can set it up to 120 FPS if you want. You can also have 60 FPS. That's entirely up to you. Hit apply. Next you want to go to is output. You want to go to advanced mode go to recordings now this is the main area you want to tweak with your settings so for recording format i choose mp4 
video encoder I use this format here basically you can just copy the settings that I have I'm gonna head down go to rate control constant QP the constant QP values should be between 15 to 20 and rest of the settings is is there but just to be aware that these settings works best for me it might not for you so you might have to play around with it a bit cool so that's it for this area so now you want to add your capture device so you go down to your sources add source add video capture device let's name it to Elgaro 4k x hit ok and you want to go down to resolution and fps type you want to set it to custom you want to set the resolution to 4k you want to head down use hardware decoding when available you want to, you want to tick this and also you want to check use custom audio device and select elgato 4k x hit ok to fix the display all you have to do is go to transform and fit to sprint and there you go now you have your display on your OBS studio the next thing you want to add is your audio so again you go down to sources go to add source go to add audio input capture and click OK and the device you want it to be from select Elgato 4k x click OK so once you've done that you will see on your audio mixer you have your audio input capture you want to go over here go to advanced audio properties and now for audio input capture you want to select it to monitor and output as well as for Elgato 4k x and there you go now you can start recording and record your gameplay footage thanks for watching this video if you found this video helpful give us a like subscribe i will be posting more content so stay tuned and i'll see you in the next one bye bye